Hello fellow book lovers, my name is Giselle and welcome to the Adventures of Jizz. So I know that I have been absent for a while but I am back and I decided to do a spring book haul even though spring ended 20th of March. So here is my summer book haul and even though it is my summer book haul it is really cold which is why I'm wearing a hoodie like a cute little teddy bear hoodie. How cute is this? So let's get started on my summer book haul. So the first couple of books were sent to me by Jonathan Bull Publishers. first book that they sent me was Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mohirin and I could not find that book. <laughs> I did read Serpent and Dove on the 1st of January this year, so I have finished reading it. It is a really, really good book. I really enjoyed it. If you don't know anything about it, it is a book which follows a witch and a witch hunter in a 17th, 18th century inspired French fantasy setting and it is a very interesting and intriguing book. I really love the setting and the characters and I really really enjoyed it. And the next book that Jonathan Bull Publisher sent me was an illustrated copy of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This is the paperback edition and it is just so so stunning. I absolutely adore the illustrations in this book and this is my absolute favorite one. It is the one where Harry is being sucked into Tom Riddle's diary and it is just so so stunning so this is just an amazing amazing book to have on my bookshelf because I'm a big Harry Potter fan if I do read I'm definitely going to reread with the illustrated editions next time and the next book that they sent me was The Sleeper and the Spindle by Neil Gaiman and it is illustrated by Chris Rydell. This is just a absolutely stunning little graphic style sort of story and it is quite dark and gothic and I'm really really like kind of obsessed with the illustrations in this book so I'm really excited to get to it. So it is about a witch who curses a girl to prick her finger on her 18th birthday and sleep forever. It is quite stunning and the art in this is brilliant. I've looked through the art a couple of times. It is just a beautiful, beautiful book. And next they sent me A Heart of Fist and Broken by Bridget Kimmerer. And I am so happy that they sent this to me because I really, really, really enjoyed the first book, A Curse So Dark and Lonely, which was absolutely brilliant. It was so, so good. So I can't wait to read the second book. Even though they sent this to me in February, I believe, I still haven't gotten to it, but I really, really do want to get to it soon. In the first book, we follow two characters. We follow a girl from our modern day age called Harper. She's from Washington, D.C. One day she sees something going on and she tries to help and she is accidentally pulled into this fantasy world of Emberfall. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, but it is absolutely stunning and really, really unique. I absolutely adored the first book. Harp is really funny. It's really, really an enjoyable read and I can't wait to read the second book. And the next book that they sent me was A Throne of Swans by Catherine and Elizabeth Kaur. Now this book looks amazing. I've seen some really, really good reviews on it. And in it, we follow a girl called Adarin and she has this ability to turn into a swan. All the characters in this book seem to have the same ability to turn into birds. I don't know if they turn directly into birds, but the story and the concept seems really, really interesting. And it looks like a really, really good read. And the next book that they sent me was With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. This just looks absolutely stunning. I love the cover so much. I've heard that her writing is very prose-like and very stunning and unique and beautiful so I cannot wait to read that and in this we follow Emini. Emini is the mother to a two-year-old girl even though she is only 17 herself. Emini really wants to be a chef as well and in this we kind of follow her as I think she starts going through cooking classes and stuff like that and we just follow her and her story in this. Apparently it's got a little bit of romance and I'm all for a good contemporary and this just looks so so stunning. I cannot wait to read this. And the next book that they sent me is The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. Now this book is absolutely, oh, I already read it. I read it last year, November, actually. It is the third book in a series called The Folk of the Air series. And it is just a really, really amazing story. I absolutely adored the entire series. In this series, we follow a girl called Jude. When Jude was young, her and her sisters were kidnapped. Their parents were killed and they were kidnapped and taken to fairyland. She has basically grown up around these very cruel and vicious fairy creatures and it is just a stunning stunning story about Jude and just amazing characters and wow the political intrigue in the series is also really really good and it's just an absolutely amazing series. I'm so so happy that I have this series in my life. <laughs> 
And the last book that they sent me was Hearts of Black Ice by Terry Goodkind. Terry Goodkind is a really, really famous author. I have never read any of his other series, but he's a very, very well-known fantasy author. And even though this is the fourth book in the series, it looks like a very interesting, interesting series to follow. I'm trying very hard to dip my toes into the adult fantasy world, and I really, really do want to read his books. And the next books were sent to me by Pan Macmillan South Africa, and the first one is a young adult thriller called The Sharp Edge of a Snowflake, and this book is by Sif Sigmund's Dochter. I tried really hard to do that, but I don't think I did it right at all. <laughs> In this book we follow two girls, we follow Imogen and Hannah. Both of them are in Iceland. Hannah has been exiled to Iceland from London and Imogen is a social influencer but there's quite a lot behind both of these characters. I'm really quite excited because I haven't read a lot of young adult thrillers. It looks really really intriguing. And the next book that they sent me was The Toll by Neil Schusterman. Oh this series is just getting so good. So I also got myself, whilst this is a book haul, I got myself a copy of Scythe and Thunderhead. I got Scythe for myself for Christmas because I love sending myself Christmas gifts and I got Thunderhead in February when I realized that I really really want to read the series and then I did request a copy of The Toll so that I could read the entire series one after the other. So far I've read Scythe, it was absolutely brilliant and I'm a couple of chapters into Thunderhead, I'm really enjoying Thunderhead as well. I think this is just a really good series, so I'm really glad I have all three of them and I'm quite excited to finish the series and see where this goes because it's really really intriguing. In the series we're in a futuristic society where nobody dies because human advances have become so extreme that nobody can die. The world is run by an AI so there's no war or political drama and stuff like that. To keep the population under control they have this group of people called scythes who do regular gleanings which is they basically permanently kill people. It's a really weird and dark concept, it's very interesting. It is an amazing amazing story so far and I cannot wait to finish it. And the last book that Pan Macmillan South Africa sent me was Supernova by Marissa Mayer. Supernova is the third and final book in the Renegade series and another book that I bought for myself I think in February was Arch Enemies which is the second book. So I've read the first one and I really really enjoyed it. In the series we follow a girl called Nova and she lives in the society where there are superpowers and there are two very distinct groups of superheroes and supervillains. She has ties to the supervillains and that is kind of how she grew up but she goes and she becomes part of the renegades which is the superheroes so it is quite an interesting story I really adore her character and there is just so much interesting things happening within these books and I really love Marissa Meyer and her writing so I cannot wait to finish this series and the next book on my book haul is This Mortal Coil by Emily Savada this book was sent to me in a book box by Magical Lit Crate, which is a South African book subscription box. This book is um, surprisingly relevant right now. <laughs> And in it, we have this deadly virus which sweeps through humanity. The main character called her father was recently killed and he was the main leading geneticist trying to find a cure for this virus. So this is quite an interesting, seems dystopian book. I feel like this would be a really interesting read at this very moment in time. And the next book was sent to me by one of my friends. Her name is Rakal. We have this thing in South Africa called SA Book Swap. And what you do is you make a bookish box for a friend Friend and they make one for you and then you swap them and this is the book that she put in my bookish box. It is Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. This is an old school young adult fantasy series and I cannot wait to read it because I have heard amazing things and I really think I'm going to enjoy it. We have this very high fantasy setting and I don't know much else about the story other than we follow a princess, a rebel and a sorceress. That is all I need to know to know that I am going to love this book. And the next book I got which was also not really a Christmas present but a Christmas Christmas present and it was from my best friend and she got it for me and it is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Now I am so happy she gave this to me. This just looks like an absolutely amazing story. I'm a big Lee Bardugo fan and this is a magical realism adult story which follows a girl called Alex and she goes to Yale after having quite a traumatic and dark history. She goes to Yale and 
As far as I can tell, there's like a magic society at Yale. It looks super good and I've heard some amazing things. My best friend really loved it, so I can't wait to read it because I feel like I'm going to love it too. And the next couple of books are books I just bought for myself over the couple of months. And the first one is And I Darken by Kirsten White. So this is the first book in a trilogy, I believe. The trilogy is a retelling of Le Mis, which is a French Revolution based book. And it looks like a very interesting story and I cannot wait to read this retelling. I have heard amazing things about this series and I really do want to read some of Kirsten White's books so why not start with one of her best series which is And I Darken. And next up I got a copy of City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. I'm a big Victoria Schwab fan even though I've read two of her books but I really enjoyed both of them. This is a middle grade to young adult book and it just looks really fantastic. We follow a character called Cass and she can basically pull back the veil between the living and the dead. I don't know much else other than that but that is all I need to know to know that this is going to be a fantastic read because Victoria Schwab does amazing amazing things in her work. Next up is a book that I don't quite know why I bought it, but I bought it anyway, so here it is. And it is The Jewel by Amy Ewing. I bought this as one of those books that you kind of read when you really don't feel like reading anything else. You know when you just want to read something really trashy and quick and easy? This is one of those kinds of books. But sometimes we just are in the mood for that. So I think that's why I bought this. I don't know if I'm ever going to actually read it, but let's see. I mean, it looks really short and quick, so I don't think it'll take me long to read. And in it, we follow a girl who's forced to be a surrogate for a duchess. <laughs> very interesting concept. Sounds very interesting. I'm, I, can, I can see myself reading it one day when I'm really bored. <laughs> Next up. This book has been on my Goodreads TBR for probably really, really long. It's actually one of the oldest books on my TBR and it is The False Prince by Jennifer A. Nielsen. In this book we follow a group of boys and they put one of their friends on the throne as an imposter, as a false prince, hence the title of the book. <laughs> And it just seems like a really interesting concept. I think it's, it's like somewhere between middle grade and young adult. I don't quite know what the exact genre is, but it's a really short, short read. It seems like a really fun read, so why not? It seems fun. I like the concept and it just was there and I bought it. And the next book I bought, I don't know why I bought it because I already have a copy of this book. And that is Grave Mercies by Robin Lefevers. So now I have this cover and I have this cover. So I don't know why I have two of these. I read Grave Mercies in December last year and it's a really fun read. I really did enjoy it. It's not like amazing though, but it's really fun. I have no idea why I bought the same book. I don't know. Logic is clearly not my strong suit. Let's just pretend that this is completely normal. In this we follow a girl called Ismay and she is an assassin, hence why the series is called His Fair Assassins. This just seems like a really, it, it's a really fun read. It is and I just wanted the this cover, so I bought it. And the next book is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabat Sahir. So I just read the synopsis for this and it looked really good. I just bought it because I knew I'd love it anyway, but the synopsis looks fantastic. Okay, in this we follow a girl called Leia and her brother is taken in the dead of night and she goes as an undercover slave to try and get him back. That sounds fantastic. Wow, that sounds amazing. I really want to read this and I have the first and the second book in the series and I really do want to read the series very badly. Next up we have Two Dark Reigns by Kendara Blake. This is I believe the second book in the series and in the series we follow three sisters. Every generation there are triplets born into the royal line and those triplets have to fight to the death for the crown and this just sounds absolutely fantastic. Oh my gosh it sounds so so good but this just looks like a really fantastic series and I can't wait to read it. Next up we have another book that this is the second copy I bought of and that is God's Grave by J. Kristoff. Now I really really love Nevernight and I just haven't gotten around to reading God's Grave because it's a little bit intimidating. It's not a big book but they're very not easy to read <laughs> but I really do like this specific format of these books so that is why I got the specific copy of God's Grave and if you don't know anything about the series in Nevernight we follow a girl called Mia and Mia has a very interesting power 
where she can manipulate shadows and she is sent off to assassin school to train to become an assassin. This is just a fantastic series. I mean, I, don't, I haven't read all of it. I've only read the first book, but it's a really good series so far and I really love it and I just really wanted the second book in this cover. And last, but certainly not least, we have a book that I have been wanting forever, and that is Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Ademi. Now, I was waiting to get a copy of this just later on. Even though I'm a huge fan of Children of Blood and Bone, I didn't want to buy the second book until I had the time to read the second book. So I'd put off buying the book when it was first released last year. And then someone from the bookstore, he's my friend, he called me and told me they have a copy of Children of Virtue and Vengeance in this amazing limited edition signed copy and I was like I can't not get one so I went off to the shops and I got this look at that it's got these amazing frayed edges and it is just a stunning stunning book it's also hardcover and it's signed and I was like I need this I need this in my life right now in Children of Blood and Bone we follow two characters mainly and the one is Zeli and she has powers in this kingdom where powers are really really frowned upon and looked down she is treated horribly and then we follow a, another character who is Amara and she is actually the princess of this kingdom and she runs away from home. Her and Zeli go on this adventure. It is absolutely a stunning, stunning concept and read and this story is amazing and I'm so obsessed with it. So I've just been putting off reading the second book because I didn't have it and now I've got it. So now I can read it. Thank you so much for watching that book haul. This is really fun going through that book haul because now I have some inspiration to read some of these books very soon. So I'm really excited for that. Let me know down in the comments below what books you got recently and which ones you're most excited to read. If you do want to watch more videos, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And I hope you have a fantastic day and a great reading week.